Frameworks Finnish Discourse Analysis is a second year language module. In this module, you will learn how to look at texts of various kinds using linguistic analysis to make sense of them. Frida runs over two semesters and covers four main topic areas. In each of these areas, you will predominantly look at texts during the seminars. At the beginning, you will learn what discourse analysis is in the first place, and we will talk about genres and registers and how texts are placed in the context of other texts around them. A more specialist topic is academic discourse. This will help you process academic articles more easily and will also support your own writing. This is important as the module is assessed through coursework. You will write a number of essays that contribute to your grade and there is no exam. The second topic, after reading week, is spoken discourse. Here you will look at conversations. How does it work that usually only one speaker speaks at a time? How can we describe the structure of dialogues? How do we transcribe spoken language? What can we find out about the speakers by looking at a transcript? This is the area that your first assignment will be about. In the second semester, we will look at literary texts. This field is also called stylistics, and we will investigate how authors use language to add that something extra to a text. What is, linguistically speaking, the difference between fiction and non-fiction, between literature and non-literature? Finally, in the fourth quarter of the module, we will cover the study of political and media discourse, using an approach called critical discourse analysis. Here we try to uncover hidden agendas in texts and try to identify the author's bias as expressed through language. You will learn how to read between the lines and interpret language choices to tell you more about the implicit meanings of a text. The module is taught through a small group meeting for one hour every week. In this group meeting we will discuss important aspects of the background reading but mainly spend time analyzing actual texts. The focus is on doing hands-on work that would be difficult to do on your own. In addition, there is a lecture once every other week, delivered by specialist members of staff. The lectures provide important background information on what is covered in the seminars and the reading. Occasionally, there will be additional lectures or sessions in a computer room, depending on the current topic. The module is supported through a series of podcasts. These podcasts go over material discussed in the seminars they provide additional information on related topics and also feature pre-lecture interviews so that you already know what to expect before you enter the lecture theatre. Throughout the module you will also work in groups outside the seminar meetings. In these groups you will discuss the background readings and there are also a number of formative assignments that you will do together as a group. This includes a formative practice essay and in the second semester you will create your own podcast from a short stylistic analysis. Discourse analysis is a fascinating topic and in the module you will not only acquire a number of useful skills and learn a lot about language use, but you will also have great fun doing it. There's a, there's a weekly podcast that helps us sort of like understand what's going on in the seminar. So we've got, you know, your basic seminar structure, but the, you know, the extra stuff on top of it. So we, have, we go out and do group discussions on the reading and it's just, it makes it feel like there's a bit more to it rather than just sat and listening to some, you know, some lecture just telling us what he thinks and we have nothing else to say about it, there's a, you know, more oomph to the subject. Uh, there's a student blog that we, that we all use. It's a, a good way of keeping in touch with both the lecturer and the other students. It's a good way of comparing findings and uh, for discussing the work. And you get to make your own podcast, which is um, it's a really fun way of doing an essay because the pressure's taken off a bit, you don't need to write an essay but you still do the analysis and all the work that you put in towards that. We look at literary pieces of work as well as political, we look at the way language works. Um, it may seem obvious to some people but it's actually the reasoning behind it which I think is really useful in everyday life.